hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to showcase you the real time test requirement traceability matrix template so guys in the last video we talked about what you mean by traceability matrix and what are the different types of traceability matrix if you haven't watched that video then please go and watch that video first and then come back to this video so that you can understand better so as part of this video we'll talk about this test requirement traceability matrix template and what are the different fields we have in detail so guys if you really need this template then please mention your email id in the comment box of this video so that i can send this template to your email id so let's talk about this requirement traceability matrix in detail about this particular template so as part of this template guys we have different uh, fields over here like project name so we need to mention the project name over here project id project manager project type what is the type of project we have so all the details we need to fill before we start to use this template and we have create date and last updated on and client name so these are the different details we need to fill before we start using this template and whenever we update the template we need to mention the last updated date over here create date will be the start date when we start using this template now the next thing is what are the different columns we have correct so we have serial number first one serial number and requirement id what is the requirement id so we got the business requirement document from the customer or uh, which is prepared by the business analyst so we have different points over there uh, there right business requirement points so here we need to mention all the requirements point so that we can map to the corresponding test cases so here we have business requirement 1.0 so if you remember last time i have taken an example of gmail application so based on the different scenarios or test cases i have uh, used this template for now so here we can see br 1.0 so we have corresponding what is the requirement description inbox okay and source of requirement so there, there are of uh, two types of source of requirements either it could be new requirement or change request so this particular let's say this is just an example okay so this particular requirement is new requirement and what are the different scenarios we have so we have three scenarios mails reply and forward emails for this new requirement and we have corresponding five test cases so this is how we map from the requirement right so five test cases we have written for this particular requirement which is br 1.0 and here we have uh, in this column so this is the test case, uh, test case id column and here we have test case description sub summary of the test cases here so for five test cases we have mentioned like what is the description of each id each test case id so check the mail in the inbox verify the open email whether we can open the email or not verify the unread email verify the downloads and attachment in the email verify to navigate to different pages now we have corresponding test results another column uh, what was the what are the results of the test cases so we have pass fail pass fail like that and we have we will map to the defects as well so here we have mentioned defect 0 1 and what is the status of status of the defect at last column so here we have open defect or if it is closed then we need to mention like closed so this is how we link in the we can map different requirements to the scenarios and the test cases and the results and defects so this is kind of mapping guys or for the like all the testing activities so this is called test requirement traceability matrix and if we have let's say if uh, for any project we have different requirements right so as part of business requirement document so we have this is br 1.1 so here we one point sorry this is br 1.0 and here we have 1.1 so similarly we need to write all the we need to list down all the br points over here all the business requirement document uh, business requirement id now if you see this template so the first first sheet is summary so this is summary of requirement traceability matrix so how many uh, what are the total number of requirements so here we have 16 what are the new requirements so 9 are the new requirements what are the change request so 7 are the change requests requirements approved so 5 of them are approved 4 are not approved requirements deferred so 4 of uh, 4 of them are deferred deferred means will make into the next release okay requirements rejected so three requirements are rejected 
due to various reasons okay if that is not feasible or if any requirement is not clear or maybe it is not uh, uh, we can I, I would say like it is not feasible with the application so we can reject th those requirements uh, that is part of business analyst so this is summary of requirement traceability matrix guys now the last one is so the first tab is summary second was re second one is requirement traceability matrix and third one is revision history so here we need to mention the serial number and date of the uh, date whenever we update this requirement traceability matrix what is the version number so initially we will give like uh, version 1 and date uh, will give and prepared by what is the who is the tester who is going to prepare this traceability matrix and it should be approved by the higher authority like uh, if tester is preparing this traceability matrix then test lead should pro uh, uh, review it and approve it and if you have any remarks then we need to mention in the remarks column so this is uh, about this traceability matrix guys so if you really need this then please send out uh, please mention your email id in the comment box of this video so that i can send you this traceability matrix so this is all for today guys and uh, uh, if you are new to my channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye